we're going to unbox the Bamboos Labs X1 Combo. Hey there everyone, I'm David Bewerts for Advanced Geekery and today we're going to unbox this Bamboo Labs X1 Combo. Now I'm going to tell you now that it's Sunday night, I'm trying to get this done before work tomorrow and uh, this is entirely unscripted. So let's see what we find out. This machine is interesting because it has just an amazing reputation as being all that and a bag of chips. So I want to find out, is it in fact all that and a bag of chips. It is a multicolor printer, or at least the combo version that I got is a multicolor printer, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, I started working on the multicolor. Oh, my camera just died. I don't know why. Well, we're not going to work on that camera. We're going to work on this camera, but we'll let that one record sound. That's just the way it's going to be. My ho hum gimbal which worked so very well the last couple times out, has just given up the ghost. So we're going to try to do this all right here off of a standalone camera, and hopefully it is recording, so hopefully it will be okay. All right, so here we go. Sort of. All right. Let me show you what I've got so far. pile of printer. It is, thankfully, very well padded, so let's see if we can get the rest of this thing opened up from the side. Notice I'm pulling my hand out of the way, because I really prefer not to cut my stuff. There we go. All right. It is glorious. Okay, there we go. So that's down. That's down. Let's see what we get. All right, let's pull the pieces out. Nice foam or filler. Here's some more. All around the machine. Okay, so we can see the machine now. This this stuff is cool. This is just so you know. This is cool. This stuff. I'll show you over here too because this camera hasn't got any love for a few minutes. Okay, we have this machine, which is the combo. No, where the I don't know where the the um, automatic feeder is unless it's inside the machine. So uh, let's does not come with anything resembling the boxing instructions. So. Now it's out. We have some white filament, not much but on it. We have some green filament. We have some undisclosed filament. We have the components of a clock for some reason. My advice is do not put the printer on your hands. Let's see what we got here. Now here I want to be careful because I definitely don't want to cut into the print. This program is sponsored in part by the Advanced Geekery Weekly Newsletter. Want exclusive access to my latest ZDNet articles, behind-the-scenes updates on my projects, and must-watch YouTube videos curated just for you? How about fascinating reads from around the web and a chance to have your own project spotlighted? It's all in the newsletter. And the best part? Subscribing is absolutely free. Don't wait. Click the link below to get your weekly issue and make it awesome. Okay, so there is a picture of a quick start. There we go. 
joy. All right. Well, all of this stuff is taped to the printer. And turn the printer around. Oh, yeah. This is, oh, hello. This is surprisingly heavy. I'll pull this thing apart and see what we find out. So the tape is stuck on here, but they didn't leave an easy way to pull it off. So you got to kind of oh, if you've got anything resembling a finger to get it off because they didn't leave a little bit folded over to make it easy to lift. It's just taped on there. All right, and that apparently attaches to some kind of cover. Let's get let's get that tape off. Let's get the next tape off. is a glass cover. Let's stick that over there to be safe for the moment. Okay. What do we have now? We have tape on the front. I have to say I am somewhat annoyed by how they put the tape on here. It could have been a little bit easier. They tape it straight to the box. So I'm like concerned about scratching the side of the machine at the same time. All right, so that's the door. And now I'll get the tape off the door. Oh, no. Without hurting the door. All right. All right, one. Let's do the next one. I think this, can you see this? I think this is the uh, multi-filament feeder, and I think that they've jammed it inside the box, which is amusing, if not fun. All right. It, all right, so we've got, I have to say this, as boxings go, this one is fairly uncooperative. All right, so the top, yeah, definitely the uh, the multi-filament feeder, I think it's called an AMS, is in here. Uh, exactly how I'm going to get it out of there it is not clear. Okay, so we have a box which uh, is sealed. I don't think the end is. No, I don't think the end. Okay, so this contains the panel and power goodies and setup stuff. So this is probably all the stuff we need to build the thing with, which I'm not going to worry about today, because right now I'm just going to into these. Okay. And I'm really curious how am I supposed to get this thing out from that thing, because it's really wedged in there. The instruction says, this is your build plate. So, one of the instructions that I disregarded a moment ago I'll tell you how to take the thing out. Take out the accessory box. Use Allen key to remove screws as pictured. No screws. Allen key. These screws. Okay, so these two screws... Apparently, I'm locking this thing in. So I couldn't have pulled it out if I wanted to. And then it's supposed to come out, except there's also styrofoam in here that is wedged underneath. So that stuff's not coming out whether you use an Allen key or not, but it doesn't tell you where the Allen key is. I guess the Allen key might be in that box I just opened up. All right, so way down at the bottom of this box here is, in fact, an Allen key. And it looks like I'm supposed to take these two screws out. It says... Take out the accessory box. Use Allen key H2 to remove the screws as pictured. That's not the Allen key. That must be the H1 Allen key. This is a big old thing. It must be the H2 Allen key. All right. And it is sticky. Because it was also taped with the packing tape. All right. 
right. Taking the screw out. I'm telling you, this is compelling video, isn't it? Won't screw out. I'll put that in where stuff was held. Take the other screw out. Give you a shot of that, at least as best as I can, because that's beautiful. The other screw. I'll put the onky away. Then it said just lift it up. Now, you can't just lift it up because there's this piece of styrofoam jammed in here. There we go. And then leverage on this is not convenient. Yes, okay, but it's not very, very heavy, so leverage might be not convenient, but weight isn't too bad. Now, I've got to balance it with one hand and a chin and a shoulder. One hand, a chin, and a shoulder. Yep, that's, that's good. Okay, so that is the AMS thing. All right. And it looks like there's some more. It looks like the, the holding thing. I'm going to move this out of the way, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, there is a metal thing, a plastic thing on top of the build plate that has a bunch of little arrow screws, and it looks like this is meant to hold in that unit that has to come out, and it looks like there might be another arrow screw over there. So it looks like we're doing a lot of little bits of disassembly, but okay, so we got that out of there. Remove the four screws as arrows indicate. So that would be those four screws. All right, so I'm gonna give you one piece of advice based on this box opening right away. See this guide? Don't ignore it. You gotta read it. Because this stuff is all in there in a weird way. Let's get those four screws out of there if I can. And by the way, we were just not particularly good. Can't actually see where the screw is. Still can't see the screw. Alright. Okay. So this, the arrows point, hold my finger, the arrows point this way. So the implication is, is that you're going to use the Allen wrench that way. That is not true. The, the screws are actually down. So you want to unscrew them by sticking the Allen wrench down and then unscrew. And that's what I'm going to try doing. And now I understand why this needs to be long, because I'm reaching all the way up and over in an attempt. Get this bastard into the screw. That side is, uh, the screw is way down there, too. The screw is way down there. Yeah, it's also way down there. Let me tell you something about 3D printing companies. They don't seem to care whether or not you have to dislocate your body to put the printer together. I don't care what 3D printing company you're talking about. I don't appreciate that. All right, so this one's coming out and finally getting the third screw out. All right, so let's see what we got. Okay, so now it sort of comes out. Okay. Get the screws out of here, and I'll show you what I'm dealing with. Just going to tip it over right here. So the screws go right there. Okay, so this is what we're dealing with. It's inside the unit, and as you can see, these little arrows, and you have to put your screwdriver in like this way deep to get the screws out. On the plus side, you got a mini inbox. Let me get rid of these screws. There's more apparently. Alright, that's out of the way. Okay, let me uh, move this back here for a second. Take the build plate out. Can you see the build plate? Yeah, you can. So I'm going to take the build plate out. Under the build plate is more foam. Inconvenient to remove foam. Or I don't know if it wants to come out until I raise the build plate. All right, so I'm not going to try to get the foam out just yet because I think it's it's. I think it might be secured with the build plate. All right, let's let's look at the next set of instructions. Okay. 
Remove the cardboard from the tool head. Remove the foam, foam from the excess chute. This is the excess chute. Oh, this thing spits. That's right. This one is also going to poof. That's fun. All right. So like the um, Cobra 3 combo, this thing will, will spit poop, which is another little side effect I'm not throwing. Uh, but it's going to spit poop. And the difference is, is that the box that the Cobra 2 came in was much larger because the filament, which, I mean, they foam out of the poop chute, which is there. All right. I've done that. Pull the foam out of the poop, out of the poop chute. Remove the three, okay. Hot bed unlock and screen installation. Remove the three screws to unlock the hot bed. Okay, so there's, that's why I couldn't get this stuff out. Okay, so there's three more screws. One here, one here, and one way back there. And that will reduce, remove the heated bed, which they call a hot bed. A hot bed of intrigue. All right, I'm going to take these things out. Somehow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is a good balance and good luck for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's that's good. Enjoying this a lot. I complain a lot, don't I? Well, it's all right, because I'm a reviewer, and that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to let you know when I like something and when I don't. All right. Screw removed. Let's get this screw over here. And then once the I'm able to move the bed and get the foam out, I will show you the four roll filament feeder and call it a day. So that's up. I gotta tell you, the first lumbar of my vertebrae, not happy right this minute. Not at all happy. Oh, it's not a comfortable position. All right, I think I have all the screws out. All right, well, when I power it up, I will take these things out because I'm not, I'm not moving it until this comes up. But I think I have finished assembling this part of the unit. So let's close this up. There will need to be, um, you know, the um, panel will need to go on there and the filament will need to run, but I think I'll worry about that on a different day. This is the multi-filament feeder. And I'm going to read the instructions on that, but I'll just show it to you this way. There you go. And it's, oh, and, and, and this thing will live eventually up here. It's Sunday night. I want to spend the rest of the time with my family. I am calling the unboxing unboxed, and we'll go from here. Hope you all have a great week, great weekend. Enjoy this. Stay tuned. I'll tell you more about it as I put it more together. Uh, and thank you for tuning in. My name is David Gortz for Advanced Geekery. Go out there and geek out advancedly or something. Have fun. Have a good weekend. Have a good week. You know, you know the drill. Bye.